So let's talk about Nebraska. And it was a nightmare last season for Big Red. Four wins, eight defeats, and that was the final straw in Husker Nation for Mike Riley. Show them the door. You bring in Scott Frost, who, of course, played at Nebraska. Um, last Nebraska quarterback, by the way, to lead Big Red to a national championship. That was 21 years ago. Last year, Scott, all he did was win every game he coached at Central Florida, a perfect 13-0. No other team in college football last year could say that. So he has a major job to do in Lincoln, not just with the mentality of the team, but getting better talent. So I think with Nebraska, you got to give this guy time. you got to give him two or three seasons to really see notable improvement. Not this year. It's just way too premature. And they're going to be going through some changes as far as offense and probably the mentality on defense goes. But we'll start offense first with Troy Walters, the new coordinator. And that's going to be an up-tempo offense in Lincoln. So watch out, Husker fans. You're going to see this team go at about 78 RPM comparison to what they have been running previously. Quarterback, who's going to play? Looks like it's going to be a freshman. Either it's Tristan Jebbia, the red shirt, or you can go with the true freshman in Adrian Martinez. I know Nebraska fans are excited about him out of Fresno. The ground game does return Trey Bright. They do have experience, but, man, last year only 107 yards rushing per game. Are you kidding me? I mean, no wonder Nebraska only won four games. You can't do it all through the air. They're going to have to develop a ground attack, which in the past was never a problem in Lincoln. Receiving-wise, Stanley Morgan Jr., he comes back for another year. The guy last year broke a single-season record for most yards receiving um, for the Huskers with a little over 980. He set a school record. And J.D. Spielman was productive last year in his freshman year as well. So you have him back along with a good part of the offensive line. Again, Nebraska's offense going to be going up-tempo, so watch out. Defensively, biggest challenge last year for Nebraska was well, playing defense. They were pathetic, and once that, all you need to know, they gave up 36 points per game. Won't cut the mustard. You do return the entire uh, front three. They'll remain in the 3-4 alignment, and that means that you uh, get back Carlos Davis at defensive end and Mick Stoltenberg at the nose tackle position. New defensive coordinator, and he's got one tough task on his hands. And, of course, we are talking about um, Eric Schinnader, um, previously from you know, Central Florida, you know, just, like, just like Scott Frost. And they've got to be more aggressive. Last year, other than the fact that they gave up a lot of points, they just didn't get to the quarterback and yards per game giving up way too many per carry. So you'll see a more aggressive Nebraska defense. They'll still give up their fair share of points and – also big plays, but look for them also to get more sacks and create turnovers, something they really lacked in 2017. You do return Dietrich Young in the linebacking position, Aaron Williams, as well as Lamar Jackson. No, not the Lamar Jackson from Louisville, but Lamar Jackson. You got uh, him and Williams back in the secondary. The schedule is going to be way too difficult for the Huskers to seriously contend this season. Non-conference-wise, though, has a shot at 3-0. Colorado appears to be the toughest of the three games, which, by the way, are all at home. But once Big Ten play kicks off at Michigan, Purdue at home, at Wisconsin, at Northwestern, forget it. All those teams went to bowl games a year ago. you got to also play at Ohio State, home against Michigan State, and at Iowa. Did I mention that? Yeah, it's going to be a bear for Nebraska schedule-wise. I've got them finishing fifth this year in the Big Ten West, but do expect better things to happen once Scott Frost gets acclimated to Big Ten play. But when we're on the field, my noises aren't art, and a, or a plain old ball.